Now, when CIOs are looking to modernize their data center, they are actually considering a number of different factors. First and foremost, compute is actually used to transform and drive the core business of the organization. All of us are doing the same. But when you're selecting compute, you actually want to make the right selection, and it makes a big, big difference in terms of the OPEX and the CAPEX budgets and what you can accomplish within, within a certain envelope. And of course, we're also thinking about sustainability and security as key things to consider. This is why choosing the right data center CPU is more important than ever. And we thought about all of these factors when we developed fourth gen Epic. And the key areas that we were focused on were to make the world's best server CPU roadmap even better. So I'm very proud to say that fourth gen Epic delivers leadership on every single dimension. It's the highest performance. It's the most efficient. And we're delivering significantly better performance per watt than our competition. And what that means for enterprises and for cloud data centers, it translates into lower capex, lower opex, and lower total cost of ownership, including all of the performance that we talked about. Now let me tell you just a little bit more about fourth gen Epic. So we're using our leadership five nanometer technology, and we have up to 96 five nanometer Zen four cores. And we're also using our next generation chiplet technology. So we're using a combination of five nanometer and six nanometer technology. We've also added the latest IO. So that includes uh, PCI Gen 5, 12 channels of DDR5 memory. Uh, we support CXL memory expansion. And we've also doubled the number of confidential VMs. So Drew, please. I am extremely excited to show you today for the first time fourth gen epic. <laughs> I, I love it too. I love it too. Um, there's incredible technology here. And what you can see is you can see 12 compute die. So these are the small dies in five nanometer technology. That's where we put all of the computing, uh, all the CPUs and all the, the cores. And then you see the I.O. die in the center, which is built in six nanometer technology. And what you have on this package is a total of 90 billion transistors. So that's a lot of transistors. Now let's look at what we can do with all that performance, um, starting first with the cloud. So when you think about cloud applications, integer performance is key. And so looking at spec speccant rate, uh, which is the benchmark, you know, looking at it, we would say today dual socket third gen Epic is 40% faster than the top of the stack of the competition. But with fourth gen Epic, we actually extend that lead, and we now deliver nearly three times better performance than the competition. What that means is the core density advantage of fourth gen Epic allow our cloud service providers to support more than double the number of instances per server 